All right. Hey, everybody. Dustin Schmidt back here again today. I thought this could be fun to go down and, and kind of break out what I'm taking on a trip that's coming up. Um, this is a trip for fun. It's not one for work. If it was one for work, I'd probably be packing a whole other set of stuff. Um, but this is just kind of some family fun that we're going off to take. But kind of the challenge when we go do that type of thing is to pack enough that I can go out and, and kind of do what I want to do photographically, but not so much stuff that it becomes um, a hassle and that it distracts from like family stuff. So all let's say, I'm going to show you what I'm loading out for this trip. Um, and we'll just kind of go through here and break it down one by one. So in this main compartment here, and I'll, I'll try to hold these things up and show you as I'm pulling them out. Um, I am bringing one kind of big work style camera actually, and that's going to be the Canon R5C. Um, this is a camera that I use for work because I can shoot stills and video with it, depending on what I'm doing. I, I do both um, as part of my job. This is a fantastic hybrid camera to take you know, on vacation because it can do it all, right? Um, if you want to shoot video clips, it'll do an amazing job of that. You want to shoot stills. I don't know if there's a better camera than the R5. Um, d debate that however you want with whatever system you're on. Um, they're all good, but this is as good as it gets, really. But what I don't want to do is take a bunch of lenses with this. So what I'm actually doing um, is cutting down my lenses, you know, a tremendous amount. I took a trip to... Uh, Alaska about a year ago and I rented a lens that was an interesting lens it was a Canon RF mount 24 to 240 um, I think that's a, I don't have the specs in front of me here and I actually don't have the lens in front of me because that's a lens that I rent um, I don't own that lens but I rented it for the trip and it was amazing um, it's a one lens that can do it all and I think when you're traveling really what you want to do is find an all-arounder kind of lens. Um, I don't think you want to get into the habit of, at least me, I'm speaking for me here. I don't want to carry a wide angle, a mid-range zoom, you know, a telephoto, you know, the holy trinity of, you know, 16 or 15 to 35, 24 to 70, 70 to 200. Um, I would probably do that if I was going somewhere for work. Uh, but for a vacation, I think that's overkill. Do you really want to carry around three separate lenses um, and that's just zooms not even primes if you get a 24 to 240 like canon makes uh, for the rf mount it covers almost everything in that range it covers your normal range of 24 to 70 covers your 70 to 200 and then some um, and if you want to use some of the features on the r5c in terms of uh, you know for video cropping into hd or super 16 or super 35 you get even more reach so Shot with that lens in Alaska last year, and it was amazing. Um, I could have done that whole trip, and I got some great shots on that trip with that lens. So that's what I'm doing this time as well. So um, R5C goes in this pouch here in the uh, backpack. Um, I should talk about the backpack, actually, while I'm here. Um, I did a whole video on this backpack. This is the Atlas Packs Athlete Pack. Um, it is a fantastic backpack part of the reason why i really like this pack is it is uh, kind of built for backpacking so it's it's really rugged it's waterproof um, it's got a rain cover all that it's got a fantastic belt on it um, that supports a lot of weight because you know camera gear gets very heavy um, and i just got tired of rolling through airports with a, a think tank photo which i also love and is a smaller pack but didn't really have the support that I needed. This has a rigid frame, all that kind of stuff. Um, if you want to see more about this pack specifically, um, I can link to that video. I've got a whole, you know, I think it's around 30 minute breakdown just going through what's in the pack. So you can check that out. But so yeah, in the Atlas Athlete Pack has this camera. Um, area in the back opens from the back so keeps it nice and safe when you set it down um, if you're on wet ground stuff like that 
um, allows you to access the pack without getting that stuff wet. Has a removable belt, all that. But this is the pack I'm gonna be wearing when I'm rolling through airports, things like that. So R5C as my main camera. Um, this here, this area is where the 24 to 240 is gonna go. I don't have it yet because it's arriving in a couple days right before, um, you know, before I go out on, on, on my trip. Um, but this 35 is kind of standing for that. It's about the same length. Fits in this area right here. I've got media, a um, ton of different media in here. I've got SD, I've got CF Express Type B. Those are for my R5C. I've got some CFast 2.0. I'm gonna show you what that's for here in just a second. Um, all my media goes here in this Think Tank pouch and right there. Um, I'm also taking a little air blower, a little tiny miniature one. Always good to keep your, your stuff clean. Um, I'm taking the Fujifilm X100V as another camera. So this is kind of that camera for if I really want to be low profile, not be carrying around the big professional camera with the big lens, um, 24 to 240. It's not huge, but this is very much a professional setup. This, I think, is more just a setup for fun, honestly. Um, Super lightweight, hangs around the body. You can take this out um, with the family. You can take it to dinner, take it to walks, whatever, um, where maybe you're not specifically trying to shoot photos, but you just want to get some nice, fun photos. So I am taking that for when I want to be a little more low key. I'm also taking, and this is kind of interesting and new, but I wanted to, to try it. Um, I'm taking the Red Komodo. So I recently picked this camera up um, have not used it on a bunch of professional jobs yet. This is a professional cinema camera um, that I bought for those purposes, not so much for vacation and fun stuff. Um, but part of the reason why I bought it is because it's so small. You know, this is the camera, this little square right here, right? Um, and that's pretty cool. And I've, you can build it up real huge, and I've done that, but I've not used it in this setting before. Um, and it fit in the pack, so I wanted to take it and bring it. Um, I would not be using all three of these cameras at the same time. If I'm out, I'm going to pick one for whatever it is I'm doing, and I'm going to go out and shoot with that. Um, the R5C would probably handle, you know, what this is going to do as well, shooting video, but I just really want to take it and try it and see what it's like for a small setup. So I've got the Komodo. It's got the bright tangerine. Um, side plates and top plate. One of the nice things about the Bright Tangerine top plate is it has these uh, quick detach sockets here. And so I've got these little quick detach D rings here that just go in. And I'm just going to wear this around my neck with a, a small camera strap, which I'm also going to pull out here. This is the uh, Peak Design strap. Um, it's a pretty lightweight one of theirs. And the nice thing about this is that I can hook it on here with these quick detach. And well, at least if I can do it quickly. And additionally on this one. And then I can put a lens on this um, and literally could just wear this around my neck like this, you know, the red Komodo, um, which is what I'm gonna do. So that's pretty cool. Talk about some other things that I'm actually taking to make this work because, you know, there's a few other steps, but also have these quick detach on the X100V so I can use the same strap. Um, and then with the R5C, I've only got two sets of those little quick detach. I'm just going to take those off and put them on the R5C for when I'm using that um, and use the strap. So one strap that's coming along for everything it goes in this pouch right here. And that's what we're taking. So Komodo, I am. I have an adapter for this that adapts these uh, BP plates to V mount. Not taking the V mount. I'm taking two of the BP batteries here. So these are 955 size. They snap right on. 
the Komodo here on the back, and then there's battery situation for that. So still keeps it pretty small. Um, the V-mount adapter takes up almost as much space as then a V-mount on the back. Um, the Komodo gets great battery life, so I'm just going to lean on that and see what kind of runtime I get out of these. Um, I'm not bringing a charger for these. What I am bringing is the Komodo AC adapter. It's in this pouch here. Um, when you plug that into the Komodo with the batteries in, it will charge the batteries. So that's pretty cool. So Komodo adapter, power adapter goes in this top area on the pouch. Um, for monitoring, you can monitor off the top screen of the Komodo, but in bright sunlight, that's not really going to do it for you. So what I am going to do is I've got this little mount here, which is a phone holder and a NATO clamp. That's going to go on the top here. And then I'm just going to put my phone into the clamp. Just like that. And using the Komodo app, which is fantastic, um, I'm gonna monitor with my phone. And so instead of bringing a separate monitor, um, here it is, this is the monitor. Now, your phone, you can definitely see a little bit better in bright sunlight. You are still not gonna get quite the view um, that you would get with a high bright monitor. Um, so I am bringing one additional thing here if I can find it and dig it out for you guys. Um, let's see what we did with it here. And that is a hood for this. Um, there we go. And this is the, it's a wooden camera um, shade here. And it's not made for the phone, but it does a pretty good job. Um, just goes on with Velcro here on the back. Not the exact perfect size for this phone. Um, it's pretty good height wise. Not quite the right width, um, but I'm gonna use this and just roll with it and hope that this gives me um, enough of a view to just kind of frame up and do what I need to um, if I'm outside. So, and it packs down real light. So that's the, those are the solutions for that. Now, lens wise, this has an RF mount, so it's exactly the same as the R5C. One of the reasons why I bought the Komodo is the way they match up like that. So I can use the same 24 to 240 on this uh, to go on the front. Um, I do have some filtration that I'll, I'll show you in a sec. Um, and so those, that lens will work between both bodies. So again, not the sexiest lens in terms of how fast it is or bokeh or anything like that, um, but coverage wise, it's amazing. And so I think that's gonna work really well. So, so that is our setup there for Komodo. And also where the CFast 2.0 cards go, uh, they go with Komodo. So batteries just go here and this little area along with the phone clamp holder and Komodo goes right here. So pretty cool. So that's three cameras that I've got just in this little space. Um, 24 to 240 lens, media, air blower. Over here, I've got kind of my uh, lowest profile RF lens in here. This is the 50 millimeter 1.8 for RF. It's a super cheap little lens. It's I think a lot of times you can buy these for 125 bucks, um, but it's RF mount, native RF mount. So it'll go directly on the Komodo directly on the R5C and give me that, it's full frame. And it's got a teeny tiny little 43 millimeter filter thread on it. And I actually have a teeny tiny little 43 millimeter um, variable ND. So <laughs> if I want ND on this, which I probably will for out shooting video, just slap this right on here. Um, and now I've got a 50 with variable ND. Um, I'm also going to bring, and this is kind of against my better judgment, but I think I'm going to do it anyway, um, is my EF to RF adapter. So 
This is the uh, uh, Mikey drop-in filter mount adapter. So it has a drop-in uh, clear to variable ND. So that also gives me behind the lens ND. Um, fits on top of that 50. And I'm gonna bring one Canon Prime lens. I'm debating right now which one I should bring. Um, probably either the 24-1.4 or the 35. Um, and that's gonna go in this spot right here. Um, I'm just kind of holding space for it right now. In fact, I've got the, um, I threw the 50 in here, which is not really what I want because I already have a 50, but Or eh, maybe I'll do the 16 to 35, but I've got space for one um, EF lens in here and that's gonna go here. And then the other filter adapter for that um, RF to EF mount. So that's essentially what's gonna be one, two, three lenses in here and three camera bodies um, and then a few adapters and things. So pretty, pretty interesting on that front. Um, I've got, Pack here with all my card readers, um, cables, things like that. Um, just go in this little think tank pouch that's going to go up here in the main compartment. Um, I've got laptop power adapter, which reminds me I'm going to be taking a 15 inch MacBook Pro, one of the new ones of those. Um, that's going to go in the front. I'll show you where that goes in a sec. Here's the uh, adapter, power adapter for the Komodo. Also going up here in this big top pouch. Um, I'm taking a power bank. This is a big anchor power bank. It also gives you power delivery. Um, this can be piped into the R5C to provide power for like 8K RAW, stuff like that. Um, can also charge the camera. Um, it gives you access to a bunch of things. Um, can also power my laptop. Um, can charge the X100V. Um, can charge the R5C, all that kind of stuff. So this is fantastic. I'm bringing this along with the little cube tap here to charge that. Um, we'll put those in the front probably. Let's put that there for now. I'm bringing one tiny little mic. This is the Video Micro version one. Um, just to have sound, I think it's good to have natural sound if you're shooting video. Um, I didn't want to bring anything big. This will plug into the R5C, it'll plug direct into the Komodo. Um, we'll not be running it if I'm using my Fuji, that's just for stills, but um, taking this mic, that can also go up here in this big pocket. This is kind of a big catch-all that's accessible from top and back, and I'll show you that. Um, Little adapter for the laptop. This is just a hyperdrive. I need this only because uh, at the moment my uh, card reader for the CFast 2.0 um, needs a USB-A. So this is coming with me. Put that in that pouch there. I've got a couple step up and step down rings um, for my lenses. Just because the 24 to 240 is a 72 millimeter filter thread lens, I like to buy adapters or um, you know filters in the largest size, and then just use step down rings or step up rings to adapt those to different lenses. So I've got a Nisi 82 millimeter um, one to five stop Vario ND um, right here. And I did that because my largest lens at the moment, I've got a Canon 24 to 70 uh, 2.8 version two, is an 82 millimeter front. Um, so I needed to get something a little bigger to work with that. And then I just step up or down from there. So I'm bringing this for when I shoot with the 24 to 240. If I take that out, um, it's RF mount direct. I can't get ND then behind it. I'm gonna have to put ND in front of it. And so I'm bringing that. I'm only bringing the one to five stops because it's a only F4 on its fastest. Uh, so this will be plenty. I've also got a IR cut filter if I use it on the Komodo. That goes with the Nisi uh, Swift system. Sticks right on the front of the filter. I've got my little 
Tiffin variable ND 43 millimeter for the 50 RF. And then I've also got a black pro mist one eighth. Might throw it on there, we'll see. So this is my filtration. This is gonna go in the front here. Also bring in the Canon battery charger for the LPE6 uh, batteries or LCE6, I guess. I've got two of those, one in the camera R5C, one backup. Um, I've just upgraded actually to the new firmware for the R5C and battery life's supposed to be much better. So we'll see how that plays out. I'm bringing a single glyph Atom uh, drive here. This is a four terabyte. That's gonna back up all my stuff along with what I drop on my laptop. So also put that in there. And then in these little pouches here, I've got three extra batteries for the X100V. Those just kind of fit nicely up there. Um, I doubt I would go through four batteries uh, in a single day out, but I've got the room. And we'll probably just end up charging this uh, via, via USB-C most of the time. So again, kind of the nice part of that. Only other thing here, I've got this wooden hand grip. This is a uh, what they call a Kino grip. There's a guy that makes these. These are fantastic uh, handmade wooden grips. Um, it just has an airy rosette. And I've got a rosette uh, adapter on the side of the Komodo so I can screw this in here. I'm not gonna screw this all the way in, but screw this in that gives me a grip on my Komodo when I'm out shooting here. So that's kind of cool. Throw that in one of the pouches here as well. So let's close up the back. So that's got all the camera gear on the back here. Close that up. Go to the front of the Atlas pack. This is kind of the top where I was just dropping a lot of that stuff in from the back side. Battery's gonna go here in the front. Laptop goes inside. There's a little laptop sleeve in there. Space for the laptop. Um, Canon battery. Put that in the front as well. All our filters. Put those in this top kind of catch all and hand grip up here as well. This kind of all just zip shut like that. And then you strap it up here. So this is gonna be my carry on here for flights. It's got a little weight, but that's what the all the extra support here is for. Um, only additional thing I'm bringing is this lightweight tripod. This is a uh, Mifoto carbon fiber road trip tripod. Um, this is actually going to go on my checked luggage. I'm, it would fit in the side of this pack, but um, I'm going to check it. It's just got a Arca Swiss. Um, I've got a little Arca Swiss plate on the Komodo, so Komodo will sit on here. I've got an Arca Swiss uh, half cage on the R5C, so R5C can mount on here. So any long exposure or locked off stuff, um, bringing this really lightweight tripod to go with that. So that's kind of my little travel loadout uh, for leisure here. Um, oh, I almost forgot, almost really forgot. And I'm gonna bring the drone. So also gonna go in my checked luggage minus the batteries. Batteries are gonna go in here. Um, but yeah, R5, or sorry, the uh, DJI Air 2S is my drone of choice. Um, great drone, super small, lightweight, uh, takes some really great photos, um, takes nice video, shoots some D-Log, all that. Um, operate that with my phone on the controller. So if I wanna get any aerial stuff while I'm out, um, taking this as well, so. Uh, this can also fit in here. It can fit in this top pouch if I rearrange some stuff. So technically I could go out and, and use all this stuff. But if I'm going out with one camera, you know, this might go over one shoulder. Camera goes over this way and I can take camera and drone out and, and just go shoot. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Uh, what would you take on your travel stuff? Um, how do you roll? Are you a, a mini lens person? Or are you a one lens kind of person? And uh, 
That's it. Till next time. Thanks for watching. See you later.